Over months, tenants made complaints about toxic dust, about lead, about not feeling well, about being choking from the dust that they were breathing in every day, for the failure to do basic maintenance. These were apartments, supposedly luxury apartments, overrun with rodents, with insects, with garbage. The workers there showed disdain, showed complete annoyance when tenants would complain, and yet the city of New York, with the vast agencies they have, the Department of Buildings, HPD, the Department of Health, the Department of Environmental Protection, all turned a blind eye. Because this building was, and still is, receiving a tax benefit that requires 100% of the tenants, or entitles 100% of the tenants, to gradual rent increases and guaranteed renewal leases. Kushner Companies was betting on tenants to leave when tenants had a legal right to stay. Team for addressing this important issue of how do we finally stop the hemorrhaging of illegal eviction. This lawsuit today is only a mi microcosm of the epidemic tenants harassment that is spreading throughout our entire community. Beyond seeking justice for the residents in Kushner Builders, we speak today for the voiceless, the countless number of people who are intimidated and afraid to know that any day they can lose their home to bad acting landlords. Kushner may be the popular name that attracted everyone to this issue in the limelight, but there are more names who are not being mentioned and are being used every day to go through this city and displace and tenant by illegal means. But we ignore the lead crisis that is taking place. When you can displace a tenant who's paying a thousand dollars of rent and get a new tenant that will pay three thousand dollars of rent, that profit margin is so high that unscrupulous landlords have factored in. So what if they get a small fine of doing something illegal? We must combat this in a real-time processing. And just as we have those who commit robberies, walk a perp walk, there needs to be landlords who are walking perp walks. And our district attorneys throughout this city must utilize existing laws on the book to stop some of the actions.